Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me, having fun, looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI. And so here I am recording this on Thursday, July 18th, after the market has closed, and SoFi closed at a price of $7.53, being down nearly 4% on the day, but bouncing about $0.05, cents, $0.04, cents, in the after hours as I record this. And so yeah, I just wanted to go over the chart because I had been talking about price coming down to around $6 for you know many months now. And uh, yeah, that basically happened. We hit a low at a price of $6.15 on July 9th, and from there, we've seen about a 33% swing to the upside, hitting a high today of $8.06. I do think that we might be putting in some topping signals, so I do think that we could be seeing a retracement, which is why I have this blue Fibonacci drawn up here. So I did wanna go over some levels to the downside that price could be returning to, but I also do have this gap up here at $8.58, which was the closing price on March 4th. And so there is a gap up there and we're pretty close to filling it. But just like the gaps to the downside with this one here at $6.03 and one a little lower, I believe around $5.41 or $5.50, be an approximate there. Um, you know, those gaps don't always get filled. So this one to the upside may not get filled before we do retrace. And that is, you know, how I am leaning. But I have to say, uh, I think that uh, 603, and let's just uh, do this precisely, 541, those gaps, they may get filled at some point in the future, but I think that they're off the table for the immediate future. Uh, for the rest of 2024, I suspect uh, we will not be going down to those levels. And I have to say thank you to the community for being critical of my analysis. I still think that they're on the table for some point in the future, uh, but we were putting in bottoming signals here, respecting this downtrend for the most part. And with 620 being the low from June 21st and then 615. Those were great dip buying opportunities. So congrats to those who took advantage of them while also being cautious of further downside. Always good to be managing risk. And so with that being said, I think that it is quite possible we have put in a short-term top right around $8 a share. And so there are a couple reasons for that. One being the high that was hit on April 9th of $7.94. You can see that marked there. We did get a wick above that today, but we closed well below. And there are some other levels that I think that we should be paying attention to, to the downside that we might be retracing to. And looking at the candle for today, it does unfortunately look like a bearish engulfing candle, completely engulfing the trading from yesterday, Wednesday, July 17th, when we opened at a price of 757 and closed at a price of 784. We opened above that today and we closed below it. And so that does suggest that there is a top that is being formed with this big wick to the upside, not being able to get any closes above 794. So like I said, I think we're gonna be seeing some downside, but with that top that we put in today, you know, maybe this retracement is changed tomorrow if we go a little bit higher, but from the top of today, the high of today, 8.06, doing a retracement from 6.15 up to that high, we have the 2.36 at a price of $7.61. We closed below that today. So I think that we really need to see price reclaiming that to suggest that there might be a continuation to the upside, that we're actually seeing the formation of a bull flag, and that we might be seeing a break to fill this gap. You know, right now I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing some weakness. And if we cannot reclaim 761, I think it's going lower. And there are a number of levels to the downside that look pretty interesting to me, especially with this downtrending level. Maybe that will coincide with some of those FIB levels. And downtrending level is actually a downtrending channel that price has resided in, uh, you know, approximately for this range in time, respecting the midpoint approximately over here as resistance and then over here as support. 
And so, you know, I could see a price coming down to that level and finding support where it does coincide with a FIB level. And so the 382 is at 733. That intersection is right around the end of July. So maybe price does go down about 20 more cents before finding support there. Another level commonly retraced to is the 50% retracement at 711. Uh, but the levels that really stand out to me as being most likely to be retraced to, maybe just a wick down to them, representing great dip buying opportunities, right around $7 a share. I've got this purple line here at 697. I think that's more or less just kind of arbitrary, uh, but we did get a bounce from that level. The low hit on April 2nd was 697. Also the low from April 16th. So that level does seem like it has been acting as support. Maybe it acts as support again in the upcoming weeks and or months. Uh, but just below that, and, and I should note that would coincide with a uh, intersection of that downtrend around the end of August. So maybe we see a price fade over the course of the next month and a half, quite the possibility. But what I think could happen probably sooner than a month and a half from now is a retracement to that golden pocket. And so that is a range from about 682 up to 688. And 682 does represent the low from March 19th hitting a low 682 as I do have it drawn there. And so, you know, with that being having been a level of support in the past maybe it is a level of support in the future also you know corresponding with that golden pocket so i find that pretty compelling but getting lower than that there is a gap there i'm always talking about gaps the 786 is at a price of 656 and the closing price from july 10th was at a price of 657 so just one penny above that 786 and there is a gap there as we can see that close if i remove the drawings you can see here 657 have not seen that and so i feel like rather than thinking about six dollars a share being a gap fill i think 657 is much more likely to be filled. And so I could see price coming down to that level over the course of the next month. And if we do look over at Max Payne for this coming Friday, so tomorrow, July 19th, that is $7 a share. And so with price currently being above that, as long as we hold above $7 a share, I could see there being a potential opportunity for consolidation here, formation of a bull flag before a break higher. But if we do see a drawdown in price, we close the week below $7 a share. I definitely could be seeing a retracement to this golden pocket. And I would think below $7 a share, that would be a great dip buying opportunity. But let's look over here to see See what the max pain is for August 16th. Maybe that will be telling. Again, seven dollars a share. But let's uh, let's look at the next week or two to see what max pain is again. Seven dollars, and the following week, seven dollars a share. So yeah, price might be hanging out around the range. The current price, 750, or pulling down to seven dollars, right around that purple line. I suspect that is likely to happen, and I suspect that price will be dipping below max pain, below $7 a share, either to 682 to 688 or 656. And if it comes down to around 650, I think that would be a great time to either be selling some cash secured puts, establishing larger positions, getting those averages down, and or just building positions with those cash secured puts or just buy-in shares. And that is what I will be looking to do, adding if it comes down to 656. But if it does, I will also be bracing for the possibility of a drawdown to 603 or lower because then that could be the greatest dip buying opportunity that we've seen in you know quite some time as the 52 week low is 615 which we recently saw right now that's the best dip buying opportunity that we've seen maybe we see something better but i think for now that dip buying opportunity is going to be between 650 and about 690. So I will be looking for that. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.